This tutorial will take you through the steps of setting up your veterinarian technology ePortfolio. It's important to watch this entire video because there are four steps in the process. The first step is to add your name to the ePortfolio presentation. Click on the Reports tab on the navbar. Click ePortfolio. This will take you to the ePortfolio homepage. Click on the little arrow that's next to the ne veterinary technology ePortfolio template and click Edit. What you want to do here is highlight template and you want to add your last name and make sure it is your last name to the end of that. Go ahead and highlight the description and delete that. Click Save and click Close. So the next step is to move your Dropbox submission to the ePortfolio. You'll do this only after the project or skills list assignments have been graded. I'm going to click on the Submission Review tab, click Dropboxes. You'll be taken to the Dropbox folder list. Under the column that says Feedback, you're going to see a View. Click on the View link. At the top of the page, you'll see um, a button that says Add to ePortfolio. Click on that. A new window will open. You're going to type in the name and you're going to make sure that the name is the same name of the, of the Dropbox and you're going to add your course and prefix number to it. So Project 1 and in this case ATE 2638L. Click Add. A progress screen will appear. Note, do not hit the back button. When the item has been created, you'll see a confirmation window. Go ahead and click Close, and then you can go ahead and click Done. The next step in the process is adding your artifact to the ePortfolio presentation. So we have to go back to the ePortfolio. Click on the Reports tab, click on ePortfolio. Again, this will take you to the ePortfolio homepage. You'll now see your item there and your ePortfolio. You want to click on the little arrow next to the veterinary technology portfolio with your last name on it. Click Edit. Click Content and Layout. Click on the name of the course for the artifact you added. For example, if you just added an artifact from ATE 2638L, you'll click on the name of that course. So you'll see all the list of courses there. We're going to go ahead and click ATE 2638L. Click Add Component. Click Artifact. You're going to see your list of the artifacts will be displayed. Click the checkbox next to the artifact. And note, if you want to add more than one artifact, you can add more than one checkbox. Go ahead and click Add. Now click the Close button. The last step in the process is to share your ePortfolio. Again, you want to click on the little arrow next to the Veterinary Technology ePortfolio with the last name. You're going to go ahead and click Share. You're going to click the checkbox next to anyone with the URL, URL below can access this item. You're then going to highlight the URL right here, not just the, just the URL. You're going to go ahead and copy that to your clipboard. You're then going to send an email to Rosemary Carlson. That's carlson.rosemary at spcollege.edu. And in the subject, use ePortfolio URL. And you're going to go ahead and send, send that to her. When you're done, go ahead and click Close. 